What's up, Ramblers? My name is Amra from the Ramblin' Richardson. Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time, hello, welcome. We have a number of things that we need to get done here in the reptile room. We have feeding and enclosure updates and we're getting the axolotls out of quarantine. So we have to install their bubble bars and then move them over into their enclosures, which have been painted. So we have a number of things to do today and it's gonna take a while. So before we get started, do me a huge favor, go down there and like, subscribe, and ring the little notification bell so you don't ever miss any of the videos that we post. The first thing we gotta do is we have to get our food ready for the Veiled Chameleon Duke back there and Sheila who sits here next to my desk. So I went to the pet store today and I got some crickets. I also got some for Johnny back here. He typically is on a Rapashi um, crested gecko food. He doesn't eat very much of that. So sometimes I supplement him with uh, crickets in order to give him some enrichment. But we need to gut load our food before we give it to our reptiles. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And I'll show you how we do it. Okay, as you can see here, I have a critter carrier with some egg crate already in it. Back behind this though, I have just a regular old Tupperware that I put holes into with some egg crate because I have two different kinds of crickets, big and small. So the small are gonna go in here and the big ones will go in here. So we're gonna open this up and we're going to put in this is some spinach. We're going to put the spinach in here to let the crickets eat. So those crickets will go in here and eat on that spinach for a couple of hours and then we'll feed them to Johnny. So we're going to just put the lid on, set them aside. Now we'll do the large crickets. And we'll let these sit for a few hours and get everything else done and then we'll come back and we'll do feeding. So these guys have time to munch out on some of those leafy greens. Okay, so crickets are done. Now we have to do water for everybody. So I need to put water in the fish tank. I need to add water to the axolotl tanks. I need to water the geckos and Duke. So I'm gonna set up a little time lapse to get all the water. I got the GoPro up here. We'll get all the watering done. That's a bunch of poop. We need to get that out of Sheila's cage. So, yeah, gotta get it. Or she's right on top of the enclosure. <laughs>
isopod culture. Check them out. They're doing great. <laughs> this piece of cork bark right back here. I'm gonna take that out of Johnny's enclosure and I'm gonna give it to the isopods. Johnny is going to get a cork round, cork tube, so they can hide inside of it instead of just behind that cork piece. So that's gonna take a little finagling. I do need to feed Johnny um, and uh, everyone actually needs to get fed. The only ones I've fed so far are the isopods. They got a little bit of food. And now I feed them this Daphnia. All tropical marine fishes, soft corals and anemones. So it's good for fishes. It's also great for your isopods. So they've eaten, the big colony has a couple of apples and a couple of dead crickets. So they're just fine. I know they don't need any food because the apples are still there. So they will break that that down as needed. They do like their protein. So if we have a couple of crickets left over, if you died on the way home, maybe we'll give them the extras. Okay, so before we put beans and Frank, or Frank and beans back into their aquariums, we're gonna do one more round of testing on their water. So I'm not gonna go through the entire thing of how to test the water, you can check out the playlist or the videos that I have I put up here. Okay, so I put fresh water in there to top off those tanks so it's been treated. I've got my little uh, API master water test kit right here, uh, fresh water master test kit. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the water parameters tested. I'm gonna go ahead and cut here because again, I've already made videos about this. If you wanna watch them, be my guest. So I'm just gonna test and then show you the results. Okay, so the results are in. And they're very similar to what we had the other day. The ammonia is a little high. His nitrate, I mean nitrite is right on point. His nitrate is between five to 10 parts per million. So now we gotta test Frank's enclosure. I'm gonna go do that and I will be back. So I got Frank's tank tested. He's got a good pH, nice and yellow. Nitrite, nice and blue. Nitrates, nice and orange. So his tank is good to go. I think we'll put Frank back into his tank today, set up his bubble bar, but we're gonna have to keep beans in quarantine a little bit longer um, and see if we can get the ammonia levels to go down in his tank before we put him in there. All right, well, let's get Frank in his tank. Okay. There we go. Got a little messy. That's okay. Okay. And we'll just add a couple of water bottles to bring the temperature down because it's the heat of the day. We're done. Frank is in. I'll show you how dirty these guys get. Look at that. After one day, I change the water every day. That's how dirty it is. So we're gonna take beans out and put them in over here because this one's clean. And then we'll clean this out. It'll be easier to clean his tanks until his water stabilizes. So this is what we're going to feed Johnny. We're just gonna put all of those in there as enrichment for him to hunt. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna put the GoPro in this, and then we're gonna see if we can get Johnny's cork out of there and give him cork tube instead. A little tricky because I don't know where he's at.
curvy. This one handed dookie. There we go, Duke. What do I have? Crickets. Nicely done, buddy. springtails and there goes an isopod right there so these are giant canyon isopods and all I had for them were these small pieces of cork bark so what we're gonna do is we are going to move some of these cork bark together Don't hurt any of them oh look at all those guys move this closer Look, they're thriving. That makes me so happy. We're gonna put this nice, large piece of cork down in here so that they have plenty of room to hide. This was previously in G 
Johnny's enclosure, this big piece of park. So we're gonna, they're already starting to go to it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this upside down in here like that so that they have more room. Then we'll put the lid back on and put them back underneath a little food. This is a pretty big colony, so we're gonna give them plenty of food. And just like that, we're all done. <sighs> well, that was a lot of work. And capturing it all on video is not easy. But I got Duke out for a little enrichment time. He really wanted to be out of his enclosure for a little bit, so I wanted to take him out just for a little bit, hang out with him bond a little bit, you know, get a little bit of uh, trust building going on with us. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. But anyways, guys, um, that's it for today. Beans is going to stay in quarantine a little bit longer so we can get the ammonia spike to go down into his, um, in his enclosure, but we got Johnny's cork round put in. He's got a cork round and we fed him a bunch of crickets and I'm hopefully going to pull the video, the GoPro still in there recording right now. So pull that. We got Sheila fed, got some tongue feeding done with Sheila, got some cup feeding done with Duke here, fed the fish, fed the axolotls, fed the isopod colonies, got everybody done and fed and watered. So that's it for today here in the reptile room. But uh, I'm glad you were here today. I'm glad you stopped by to check out the video. Do me a favor. It really helps me out so much. Helps the channel out so much. It doesn't cost anything. Just go down there, like, and subscribe. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It costs nothing for you to do, and it helps me tremendously. But we'll go ahead and wrap this up. You guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Say bye, Duke. Peace.